It's 8.30. I'm about, I don't know, a half an hour later than I wanted to because there were two hikers that stopped by because I'm right on the main drag. And one of them is a young lady who's going to Bethel in August. Um, and I lived there for two years, so we had a nice chat. Now I have got a bunch of garbage collected and I'm ready for the next trash can. And I'm going to hike into uh, Middle Creek Campground today. Yeah, it's about nine miles. Let's get going. miles to go to Middle Creek Campground. Let's get to it! That's my second snake today. The first one was a rattlesnake. And this is just a black snake. And it's just sitting there. Okay, I'm leaving. So this is the Cove Mountain Shelter Privy. It's brand new. It is handicapped accessible four miles from the road on a trail that someone in a wheelchair would not be able to um, get here. I don't think. Lock. Unless the path from the road is super wide and smooth. We'll see. This is a serious serious table. Look how well it's meant. It's built. So, I'm at the um, Cove Mountain Shelter that has these like huge... Hold on. Huge bees with a big, like big black bumblebees. There's one hanging out there watching me right now. And, um, and they're fighting each other. It's 
really weird. They're in the on the side of the shelter and they're going up into the like the slats. It's I don't know. Pretty bizarre. And I was making really good time. I thought I did four miles, but it was only three and a half from Bear Wallow Gap. And because I was making such a good time. Oh, see, they're fighting each other. And um, so I did that three and a half miles in just a little more than two hours. I was really bugging until I saw the rattlesnake or heard the rattlesnake. And then a little while later, the big black snake. And then I just slowed my roll because I didn't want to step on any more snakes. And then also this lizard, the lizards, as you're walking by, they like launch, they jump either out of the trail or onto the trail. Like this one jumps onto the trail, runs across the trail and then up a tree just as I'm walking forward. Like why? And then another thing, there's all these flying creatures on the trail. There's bees and flies and doodle bugs and moths and butterflies and these, I don't know what they are, ho horse flies. There are other like this, this little flying thing with the, the wings that go straight out and it has like this big, it looks like a gigantic stinger. <laughs> it looks like I would not want to be, I don't want it to touch me. I'm, let's put it that way. Anyway, so as I'm walking forward on the trail, these things, they just keep moving ahead of me instead of moving off to the side. Like I'm chasing butterflies. <laughs> it's it's a weird like just move to the side I'm not chasing you I'm just walking by so that um has been going on snakes lizards stuff and I was thinking I didn't want to step on anything especially anything that could bite me and then snakes snakes appeared um so, I think that I have like three miles to go and I have to call for the shuttle when I'm on the top of the ridge because there's no um, cell service in the gap. I didn't braid my hair this morning. It's been pretty hot. I did put sunscreen on. I've been wearing my hat and I put my umbrella up, but now it's kind of clouding over. My pack is super light because there's been trash cans on the parkway. And um, I don't have very much food. And um, yeah, that's what's going on right now. This picnic table looks great, except it's not level. <laughs> Jennings Creek. This is a kind of a local campsite here along the river because when I called earlier this week, the lady at Middle Creek Campground said that there was a shuttle that would pick us up, pick me up at the trailhead. Well, when I called before I descended um, the mountain, she said she didn't have anybody. So I'd have to walk a mile up a mountain to get to Middle Creek Campground, which is 
um, something. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't like it. Um, my food. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Ooh, things are in bloom. It smells so sweet here. You're making me sneeze. So, <clears throat> I have a mail drop up there. And I don't have very much food. And if I didn't have a mail drop there with food in it, I would blow right on by. So, I'm perfectly fine camping out down here by the river. There are three packs here by this log that three guys ditched. So that they could run up the hill and get there before 6.15 before the grill closed. I hope they made it. But after 9.6, I think it was, I was not going to run up the hill so I could have a cheeseburger. I don't think there's ever going to be a time, maybe there will, that I'll run for food. Yeah. Probably not. I don't know. Anyways, there's no cell service, so I couldn't call. I thought about calling Homer Witcher to come and get me. I guess I could text him, but I, I think that I'll just suck it up. I have enough food for tonight. I'll just get up in the morning and try to hitch up the road and walk it if I have to, to get my food. At least it'll be downhill to the trail. Bill's finishing up his shooting competition tonight and then tomorrow he'll be driving from Talladega back to Raleigh. And, um, and I will be somewhere over the mountains behind me. Here is my little camp spot. It's very, very pretty. There's dogwoods and other sweet smelling trees. And there's the river right there. And it's not too buggy, a little buggy. Oh, those are the packs right there. Um, I'm going to clean up a little bit and eat and blow up my sleeping pad and just chillax for a little while and then go to sleep. It's been a really, really long day. So I'll talk to you in the morning.